I was born and bred in Bristol. It's a really good place to be. There is lots of things going on, whether it be music and entertainment in the city. In the Colston Hall, you get the sound of music as you walk through the building and you actually cross a glass bridge and that bridge vibrates and you can feel the vibration and hear the glass vibrating. I don't know whether I agree that my senses improve because I'm not blind. I just think they improve because I'm using them. Sunshine, you will welcome here upon my cheek. When a blind person is on that boat, there are various noises. The sound of the rudder being moved, the sound of the wheel being turned as the ship goes along. When you go down below decks, you get the impression of going into somewhere that's very low. The ceilings cannot be much more than about five foot high. When you go into their big ballroom, when you play the piano, because it's all wooden, nothing vibrates. It's as dead as a dodo. When I'm imagining that I'm in a sea and I'm driving this big boat along, and it's absolutely fantastic. The Blind Bowling Club was started in 1973. I went bowling because it gave you increased confidence. But it also gave me freedom of mobility because you can walk around on a green without bumping into anything and falling over. You don't need to catch hold of people's hands. You can walk around on your own. And for somebody that's always being guided, that's a lovely feeling. Being able to play the game with other people and achieve a result then you're up to the clouds, really. <laughs>